So, I tried going to sleep early. That didn't turn out very good. Uh, it is now 2.41 in the morning as of recording this. Uh, I can't go back to sleep. And everyone in the Pokemon community is losing their fucking minds right now. So, I'm going to talk about it. So, February 23rd. So, yesterday as of recording this video, Pokemon released this tweet. They said, let's go Sinnoh. Turtwig, Chimchar, and Pipup are preparing for Pokemon Day. It's only four days away. Now... Everyone in the Pokemon community is like, goddamn minds over this, because, uh, they're thinking that this means that the next Pokemon games are gonna be Gen 4 remakes, and the remakes we're gonna get are Let's Go remakes. Now, two things, right? Number one is, I don't think that's the case. I think they just phrased this because Let's Go Sinnoh kinda half-assed rhymes. Also, if you go back to their twitter and you scroll back even further back you'll see that they've got unova gang uh for five more days they've got uh jessica and kalos for six more days they got uh i think talking about alola for seven days so obviously they're they're doing this thing counting down pokemon day starting from eight days going down to where like the day before pokemon day is gonna be first gen. So that's what they're doing. So 28th is gonna be Pokemon Day. And I believe that's also, isn't that when Post Malone is doing his concert? Isn't he doing that shit on Pokemon Day? Uh, no, he's doing that the 27th. So the day before Pokemon Day, or right, no, that is Pokemon Day. That is Pokemon Day. Because they released four days till 23rd. So on Pokemon Day is gonna be Post Malone's concert. So this is pretty much a countdown until Post Malone's concert. Maybe we'll get a direct the day after. Maybe. I don't think we're going to get that. The other thing I want to talk about is if they do Let's Go Seno, like proper Let's Go Seno, people are going to lose their goddamn minds. Nobody, and I mean nobody, liked fucking Let's Go. I know maybe three people that liked Let's Go. It's just so slow pace. It's boring. If you've seen my tier list videos, you know how I feel about it. But god damn, nobody wants it. If they come out with Let's Go Sinnoh, dog, I don't know what I'll do. I have no idea. But I don't think they're going to do Let's Go Sinnoh. Honestly, I think that it's going to be a proper remake that you did phrasing. But if they do make Let's Go Sinnoh, I'll eat my fucking words and I will live stream an entire playthrough of that shit. Mark my fucking words. The funniest thing about this whole thing is some of the replies on here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, I like that. They did that shit with Animal Crossing, too. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. The Joy-Cons are cool in this one. At the very least, the Joy-Cons are cool. You got people still chanting, you know, bring back National Dex, bring back Mega Evolution, bring back all Pokemon, which... You know, that's what National Dex means. You don't have to put it twice. If Sinnoh Remix look just like Pokemon Sword and Shield, I'm quitting Pokemon. Sheen, this is the seventh year in a row you've quit Pokemon. I mean, that's right. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm done. But yet they continue to play. I'm, I'm dead ass. I don't think they're going to be doing that. I think it's just a countdown. I think that their PR guy knows exactly what's up. And that he... Uh, realize he either knows what's up and he knows that this is gonna get people talking about it or he posted it realized hindsight's 2020 and is an accidental genius that has to be it I, like they've thrown so many hints that gen 4 is the next game and have done nothing with it they've thrown so many fucking hints that gen 4 is gonna be the next game then they have hints about it in sun and moon also about in Su ultra sun and ultra moon and then instead of uh, instead of Ultra and Ultra, or instead of uh, Gen Four remakes, you got Let's Go. And then after that, people are like, okay, now we're gonna get Gen Four remakes. And then they made Eighth Gen, and people are still begging for Gen Four remakes. I, I get it, right? I get it. First got like three remakes. Second got the best remakes of all time. Third Gen got remakes that were really good. And, you know, they want the same thing for fourth. They want fourth gen remakes to be what second gen remakes were. Which, gen 2 remakes were some of the best Pokemon games of all time. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that, uh, 
They're gonna, they're gonna use the same engine as Sword and Shield, which isn't a bad engine by any means. Just they don't know how to utilize it all that well. And what I mean by that is that it feels so empty. As boring as Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were, I will give them this. The region did not feel empty at all. The region did not feel empty because all the routes are super small. And I can get behind, you know, a big route, but you gotta make it feel full. The whole thing of Galar's thing was to me was it felt so empty. Because there's so, yes, there's so much space and so much room you can walk around, but there's so little filling in the gaps. Like, uh, in Gen 5, uh, what was the city in Unova? I'll pop the name up whenever I find it. But, uh, that place was huge. And there's not really a lot of places you can go to, but they made it feel a lot bigger than what they did because they added alleyways, different ways to get to different places. That's where Gen 8 fell through, I think. They had these giant towns with a lot of places to go to, but it's so linear that it feels so small. So if they want a town to be successful, they need to add different places to go and different ways to get there. So my biggest fear is that they do Gen 4 remakes they're going to do something like that to where it's like, they're not going to rework the whole region, but because they want to expand on the towns and the cities, and because, you know, when you're a city, a city's huge. It's not like, you know, a village with two houses like fucking Little Root Town and Gen 3. They're big. They're not huts. So they want to emphasize how big they are by, like, showing you, like, all these different towers and housings and apartments and shit, but, like, you can't utilize any of that. And there's only one way to get to them one main road there's not one main road in real life now do they have to use every single building no that's just be ludicrous but they should be able to have like different alleyways different little events you can find so on and so forth but that's just my opinion and my opinion is law on this channel as you know so that's all i'm going to say about that uh i again i still think that they're just counting down i don't think that they're going to have let's go as the next uh, games, uh, if they do, we got a problem. I will be first on that shit. First on that shit. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I have a Twitch, I have a Discord, I have Twitter, and I have TikTok. You can follow me on any of those. And if you like this video, uh, go ahead and go watch my previous video. I actually had a lot of fun doing that. We talked about a bunch of useless facts and Pokemon. And if you want to learn some... Uh, some equal uses facts but interesting none the least i made a youtube uh, youtube yes it's on youtube i made a mewtwo video uh talking about a bunch of different stuff about mewtwo and uh i was really proud of that video so go check that out and uh subscribe if you like them anyway i'm gonna get out of here it's three in the morning i'm gonna try and go back to sleep i'll see you guys later